Okay, cool. So, right geometric solids here, the base multiplied by the height. So, very, very simple um, um, ideas. There's another idea out there, though, um, and this is called Cavalieri's Principle. Cavalieri's, I hope I spelled that right. It's not Cavalier, it's Cavalieri's Principle. So, let's imagine we've got a plane. Okay, so base is the same. And let's put a let's put a cylinder on this bad boy. Okay, so there's cylinders that's sitting right on top of that. Oh, that one should be solid. This one should be broke. All right? Okay, so but on top of this, so there's that plane, and then there's the plane that sits on top of it. Right? It's just kind of like the the roof, if you will, of that. But inside of that, between that, of the same height, is another um, cylinder. Let's try to make it about the same. Imagine they are the same. Um, okay, so you have two cylinders there. One's a little twisted, right? The other is nice and it's got a it's a it's a right geometric solid, while the other one's at an angle. But they're the same height because they sit on this plane and they have this other plane as a lid. You guys see that? Now the question is which of those two would have more volume? If they had the same girth, because obviously they're not drawn identical, but they have the same girth and they have the same height. Which of those two would have more volume is the question. Landon, what do you think? Wouldn't they be equal? How would they be equal? Because they're just slanted. They're not changing the dimensions of it. Oh, you're way too smart, dude. You're way too smart. And that's exactly what Cavalieri is saying. He's saying, you know what? Because kind of looking at them, obviously they're not the same, right? So why would they have the same volume type thing? But if you guys remember when we talked about the two-dimensional objects, they only have length and width, right? There's no, there's no thickness to it. So if you think about like a coin being absolutely flat, okay? And saying, you know what? Wouldn't this kind of have one right here? We'll say, we'll call this a cross section of this cylinder. So it's kind of like just kind of taking a slice right out of it. Super thin, two-dimensional, so it only has area. Wouldn't there also exist, so if I went straight across, wouldn't there also exist the same um, cross-section on, on that cylinder? Yeah. So if I took those two out, obviously they would both be circles, yeah? Which one would have more area? And the answer is? It would have the same, right? So if I, what I could do was you know, kind of do that over and over, take this cross-section right under there and match it up with that cross-section, this one with this one, and so forth. Just kind of went through the whole thing. Each cross-section in this cylinder would have a corresponding cross-section in this one, wouldn't it? Because they have the same height. So, yes, they would have the same volume is the answer to that, the short answer. And it's kind of the idea, and I, I've been showing everybody, last time I don't think it made a bit much of a difference, but I showed the sixth, seventh year power, and it kind of made a little bit more sense of them. But if you kind of think about a stack of pennies, I need to get like something taller. You guys can see that. So if I kind of stack a, a cylinder of pennies, now you'd have to imagine that these pennies are absolutely flat, but the idea is the same, right? So if I take a stack of pennies, it looks like a cylinder, yeah. right? And the, the cylinder is kind of made up of all these different little circles, right? If it was just one and they were absolutely flat, but if I start to stack them, they start to get this height. So what you're looking at is taking that same cylinder, but all you're doing is you're moving all the little cross sections at an angle. So it's still composed of the same amount of pennies, so it, it makes sense that it has the same amount of volume. So if it has the same amount of volume, well, the question is how do we find the volume of that slanted one, right? Well, can't you find the straight up plane? Yeah, it, it really is. It's the same idea. It would be the same thing. Because all I've done is taken all of these cross sections, and they've kind of tilted a little bit. So kind of stacked up at an angle. So if I want to find the area of this, according to Cavalieri, is I can use the same formula as this one. Find the area of the base and multiply by the height of the image, and I'm good to go. So this one might have a radius of, we'll say, 3 and a height of 5. So I'd be like, OK, 3 squared is 9. So the area of this circle is 9 pi. And there's five of those stacked up, which means I would have an a, a area of 9 pi square units, and then multiply by 5 height which would give me 45 pi units cubed. 
over on this side, let's say the area, sorry, the radius was 3 as well. Well, area of the base, 3 squared is 9. So I've got 9 pi units cubed multiplied by the height of 5 units. Well, 9 pi times 5 is 45 pi. And then that should be squared. So units squared times units would give me units cubed. So you have the same formula or the same way of getting that. Okay? It's kind of like, well, it's very much like when I talked about the, the square. You guys remember the rectangle and the parallelogram? You guys remember when we did that? I said, hey, you know what? I've got a rectangle. And a parallelogram kind of looks like this, doesn't it? And we kind of took this piece and we moved it over and said, oh, you know what? Look, it's the same thing. So to find the area, that would be kind of the same idea. That's Cavalieri's principle in a nutshell. So even though it got shifted, finding the formula or the volume or area of that, in this case volume, is the same idea. Okay? Questions on that? Super simple, huh? So the best way for me to learn something is to do it. So Cavalieri's principle, I'm not going to push that too much. It'll probably be a few of them on your homework, but you guys can do those on your own. Um, what I want to make sure you guys got down is how to find the volume of these three-dimensional objects, okay? So, um, I've got just a, a big sheet up here with with some examples, and I'm just, Wait, I'm gonna, go back? back to over there. No, 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 no. JK, I know what you meant. <laughs> here? Yeah. Capillary! Sounds like capillary. That's what I thought you said. No, I didn't say that at all. Yesterday I was, what did I get? Someone right here, I just, you know how I squeeze everybody right here? All the guys. Oh, I thought, I thought you said that. And I got some guy, I was like, and he's like, oh, what are you doing? Like, where are you, where are you squeezing? It hurts. And the shoemaker's like, trap. That's a trap. What? Yeah, that's, your, that's a trap. Oh, okay. That's a trap muscle. And I'm thinking, trap, what's that short for? Because you, know, you always say, trap. like, it's a trap. Like, you, you'll, you'll say, like, your buys or your tries, and this is your trap. And I'm like, I wonder what that's short for. And being the math teacher that I am, like, maybe this is a trapezoid muscle. <laughs> Shut up, dude. I thought that was funny. I thought it was funny. But it's not trapezoid. It's a trapezius. But it makes me want to be like, I'm on a trapeze. <laughs> I guess that's what it is, right? You're using those muscles. Maybe. I never thought of it like I that. I never thought about it like that at all. Until I saw you in your eyes. <laughs> Uh, can we move on? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's make it awkward for you. Let me be long time. All right, so let's take a look at some of these, these examples here, okay? Um, I really like want to start off with some of the right geometric solids, like these guys, and then we'll move over to these kind of cone-shaped looking things, okay? Is that cool? So any of these that are right geometric solids you guys want to take a look at? First, let me guess, number four? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so let me grab my little, because everybody asked for it. So, got my camera. Let's go with number four. Number four show. Wow. Okay, cool. So, because it's a right geometric solid, how do I know? How do I know that's a right geometric solid? Sean? Because it's got a right angle. Got right angles, and one giveaway is that the base is exactly the same as the top of it. The bottom and the top are exactly the same, therefore they're going to have those right angles, right? And I can kind of tell, looking at it too, so that's definitely a right geometric solid. In this case, it's a pentagonal, pentagonal fit? Can I say that? Is that legit? Yeah, or am I just making just words up? That. Just Let's just go with that. Okay, so area of the base, so area of the base, and I'm going to multiply by the height. I think I've got the height, which is 10, right? So sweet. All I need is the area of the base. So can you guys identify? identify? Can you identify it? What shape is the base? Pentagon. It's a pentagon. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a pentagon here because I want you to see what the base looks like. And I want you to be able to see what I'm going to do with this. Okay. So here's the base. I'm going to pretend that's what it is. You could be drawing on the side somewhere. So I'm going to try to gather some information. I can see that this little piece here is 5.5. So that looks like about the center. I know that this is 5.5. Do I know anything else? Oh, yeah, that's good, huh? That side. What's, how long is the sides? Eight. They're eight. How do I know they're eight? There's an eight up there, and there's little tick marks on every single one of them, so right? 
that means that they're all eight yards. So that means that this would also be eight yards. Okay, so how does that help me? Hmm. Any ideas? Well, this is a pentagon. We don't have formulas for pentagons, do we? Well, go ahead. Mm -mm. It's not exactly straight on. Nope. Anybody else have an idea? Can you like make them into shapes that you already know? Yeah, you can turn it into shapes you already know. Like which one? What are we thinking? <laughs> How about just a triangle? How about that? Look, and this is what I mean. <laughs> because trapezoids is gonna be a little bit tougher. I mean, I can see that you could do this, but then how long would that be? Like if I, I, you're saying like, what if I did that, right? Yeah, I got you. But then this one is not really the full height, is it? But. But if I did this, I, I got all the information, don't I? So I could say, oh, well, that's just a triangle, right? Isn't that just a triangle whose base is 8 and whose height is 5.5? So base times height divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 times 4.5 is 22 yards squared. So there's the area of that triangle. That's the area of the green triangle right there. But wait, there's more. How many of those triangles are there? Five. There's five, right? If I did this, that's another, that's second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. So I need to multiply that by five, which means that the whole base, the area of the base, is actually 110 yards squared. This length was 10 yards. So what's 110 times 10? Right, so it's 1,100. What's yards squared times yards? Uh, yards, yards cubed. Yards cubed. Guess what? There's my volume. Of, the, of that whole thing? Right of there? the whole thing. Jesus Christ. That was easy. For you. <laughs> what, 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 little, what does the little thing stand for right there? Those little circles. Those are uh, meaning that all the angles are the same. Just like the tick mark means all the sides are the same, mm -hmm. those little circles means all the angles are the same. Okay. So what you're looking at is a regular pentagon. Regular pentagon. All right, Ken? Yeah. Chef. What flavor is your gum? Mm. You're talking about this eight? So, like, under the AB, like, the black word up the top. Area of the base? Under. That 110 under yards? That. 10 yards, oh, okay. 100, yeah, that's it's 110. Lloyd. It's Lloyd. Lloyd. YD. Isn't that short for yards, YD? Yeah. Lloyd. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lloyd. It's Lloyd. YD means 10. That's for what, for the height? height? How tall is the image? <laughs> Some great questions. Sean? Yes. I, you want to share that with everybody? I do. Um, I was just saying how I was asking who is Lloyd and why is he squared? And I thought that was pretty, like, a silly joke. <laughs> okay. I know a guy named Sean, and he's also a square. <laughs> I like Sean. Every time I say Sean, I think Sean of the Dead. You seen that? That's a good movie. No, stop. Bring it down. <laughs> Getting a little too excited. Hey, what's your movie? Yeah. So for the pentagon, you just make it into shapes you know. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever shapes are out there, if you don't, because there's no formulas for them, you just break them down. Like she had the idea of doing the pentagon with the two triangles. Mm -hmm. That was great, except I wouldn't have all the information I need, would I? Well, I'm, it's not a bad idea, but then it's like, uh, hashtag the struggle even more. 
So I, I like to keep it simple. If I can't do it with squares and triangles, then I, I'll go to something else. But okay. Yeah? All right, so this, um, when you get 22 yards, mm -hmm. you're uh, times and divided by five triangles, right? Why, why, why would I do that? Yeah, and what was 22? Uh, the it was the area of, of the one triangle, yeah. correct. Are you still talking? Yes, I, I said that was crazy. No, that was math. Which is? Which is? Which is? Which is Halloween's <laughs> gone, bro. That was like two months ago. What? No. What did she say? He said brujaria, but he wasn't saying it. Oh. I was close. No, you weren't. I didn't understand. I thought you were speaking like Puerto Rico or Portuguese or something. I was like, I was about to say, dude. Shut up, lad, in your way. I'm missing though. What are you talking about? I thought that it was Mexico when I first saw him. Me too, I thought You're silly. Alright, anyways. I thought this dude was Cuban. Yeah. I can I can see it. I can see it. Que pasó, chico? <laughs> 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 you I had a friend, he, he, he was uh, African American, and he would go around like kicking him and he would just deliver it, I'm Cuban. It was like, it's funny. Alright, cool. Any questions on this? This wasn't really that difficult, was it? I mean, when you really think about it, it's like area of the base times the height. It just kind of a little bit, they, they made us work for a little bit, okay? Uh, let's take a look at another right geometric solid from here. Uh, how about the cheese? I like cheese. You guys want to do the cheese? What the? I always call it, a, it looks like a cheese. I mean, I know it's not round like a cheese, but it looked like a cheesecake maybe? I don't know. Oh, now you're going to be hungry. Cheese pastel? <laughs> right, cheese pastel? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be sorry. No. I can't. I'm just that good. Even when I don't try, I'm good. All right, cool. So again, right geometric solid. All I need to do is find the area of the base, multiply by the height. So area of the base, multiply by the height. I can see that the height is three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So three. So finding the area of the base. Oh, this was too easy. Check it out. See the right angle. That means that this is also a right angle. So I'm going to call this my base and that my height. Is that cool with you guys? So 8 times 8 times 6 divided by 2, that's a 4. 4 times 2 is 24 yeah. kilometers squared. I keep forgetting to do it over here. This one would be 3 kilometers for the height. So 24 kilometers squared. 324s would be 72. Yeah? Because 3 times 20 is 60. And three times four is twelve. So, yeah. So, yeah. so seventy-two kilometers squared times kilometers would give me Square kilometers Square. cubic. What? Taco Bell snack wrap. No, Taco Bell's nasty. I know. I got one of those, and it was like all get, Honestly, I don't know. That that is one so one big cheesecake. Like this. Yum yum, give me some. I don't. I'll dive into that bad boy. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> my way out. Same. I'm sorry, you said something? I was too busy ignoring you. Say much. <laughs> Say much. <laughs> nah, I didn't hear you at all. I wasn't ignoring you. You're new, so I want to hear what you got to say. I want to hear what you say so I can judge you. <laughs> so you know how you were talking to me about... No, I don't know what you're talking about. You know how yesterday, when I had the schedule like right here, and you thought my water was yellow? When you were drinking that, the red like went through the water. So I thought you had like Kool-Aid or something in there. But then you the red it. went through like the, the red color. The, water. <laughs> the red and color was, like broke and the the red. Red. Why'd it have to be Kool-Aid? Why can't it be Gatorade? Yeah. More <laughs> <laughs> power. I mean, yeah, I like Kool-Aid, but why can't it have been Gatorade? Why had to go Kool-Aid? I, I, that's the first thing that came to my head is Kool-Aid in a glass pitcher. Mm. Because you can make Kool-Aid in large quantities like that, but you can't put Gatorade in powder. Can. You can, but if you have to buy like three powder. bottles of Powerade. No. No. I have powdered stuff at home. I have powdered and I can scoop it. Yeah, I got that too. 
I actually have what is it, a cool blast? The blue one? Well, that was all right. I like, I like the original. I'm a lemon guy. The lemon lime? It's all about that. See, I'm sorry. I can't get enough of that. The original lemon lime for me is it. It's like, don't change it. I don't want no watermelon birds. No paprika, sprinkle, whatever the heck. Uh, Just give me some lemon lime. Good to go. What's the difference? Later. Yeah? How did I get 24? Uh, base times the height. Here, let me show you. Let me move this around. Oh, look. So, so if I kind of look at it this way, see how this would be the base of it? And that's how tall it is? So I just went base times height divided by 2. So 8 times 6. 8 times 6 divided by 2. 8 can be divided by 2. You get 4. 4 times 6 is 24. And that's it. Did that answer your question or is it still kind of weird? Did that answer your question or is it still? Okay, good. I wasn't sure. What? Do I need a movie already, Sean? All right, cool. Moving on. Any questions on this one? So how come we divided it by two? Like, it because it's a triangle. How do you find the area of a triangle? Remember, it's the area of the base, and then you multiply by the height. So if you look at the base of this, isn't that triangular in shape? So to find the area of a triangle, just a triangle, two-dimensional, base times height divided by two. Unless you're, unless you're the, the, what is it, the one-half really base times height person? Is that you? Is that you or do you do this? Do you do one-half base times height? Oh, no, I do it the other way. Well, then but there you I go. Was, I thought it was simplifying it for some reason. I did. I took eight divided by two, got four. But are we on the same page now? Yes. Good. Moving on. What else do you guys want to go? Well, let's do one more right geometric solid. Five. Eight. Five. All right. Eight. Seven. It's a cone. We'll, we'll do that in a little bit. So this one. We'll go with this one. Let me let me snap snapshot. Perfect glass of Bam. So here it is. This is another right geometric solid, right? This base is the same as this one. So if I kind of turned it, it would look, it would be the same top and bottom. Do you see it? I do see it. Good. So I'm just going to put it back because it kind of bugs me with the numbers. So area of the base. The base is a circle in this case. So I'm going to take pi, multiply by the radius, and square it. The radius is 3, so 3 squared um, is 9. So 9 pi uh, inches squared. So there's the base. That was easy. What do I need to do is multiply it by the height. Did I go too fast there? I'm sorry. Tell me to slow down. It, I, remember, it's area of the base times the height, correct? The base is a circle. Pi r squared, yeah? What's the radius there? Three. So what's three squared? And what's nine times pi? Nine pi. So the area of the base is 9 pi inches squared. So what's my height? Four. four what? Inches. Thank you. Four inches. So 9 times 4, 36 pi inches squared times inches. inches two. And there's my volume. Well, now, that was they're all that way. They're all that way. That was simple. They are all that way. The only problem is that some of the ones have more complicated bases, right? Yeah. They've got pentagons, hexagons. The triangle's not too bad. What do you got? What's the uh, 113 inches cube? What's That's the answer. What? Oh, yeah, because you, you still have pi there. Yeah, we didn't. Oh, okay, my bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, triple this. Yeah, we'll find that. What's 36? That's 90 and 18. That's about 108. OK, but it should be a little bit more. If you go and multiply by pi, you're going to get that. Okay. Now, that, that leads to the question, right? Hey, Munoz. Do you want me to leave pi or do you want me to multiply it out? Yeah. What do you want to do? I want to leave it. I want to leave it. I want to leave that. Lambin, that is a great idea. I want to leave pi. Because for this class, now for starters, the more math you do means you got more chances for making a mistake. That's the first thing. 
Second, pi truly is the accurate answer. Because when we do multiply by 3 with 1.4, is it, is it this still? No. Now it's this. It's approximately that. Because we've cut pi off. This is exact. That is exact volume. Now, understand this though. When you're Galileo, and they don't give you 36.5, but they give you 113.1, that is the best option. And you always want to go with the best option, because that's what you're really looking for. Okay. I love the hair. So, so in Galileo, if they did, um, they gave you that, the 113.1, but didn't give you the 36 times Pi. 3.14. If they give you this one on Galileo and not this one, then you go with this one. Okay, but if I they think... give you this one and not that one, then obviously go with this one. What if they give you both? Which one do you pick? You pick 36 pi. Why? It's exact. It's exact. And sometimes they'll mess with you. And it used to make me mad. Because they'll do they'll give you this, but they'll make that square. And they're like, oh, this one never teach. And they're like, oh, it's not the right units. Because what's square telling me? That this is a two-dimensional object, and I'm finding area. Not three-dimensional, two-dimensional. And then I'd be wrong. So watch for those little things. Sometimes you get in the zone and you're like, click, 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 click. You just want to get answers out the way. The biggest thing you can do is make sure you read the instructions, people. Read the instructions. So you guys good? You guys ready to do one of those cone looking things? Which one? <laughs> Everybody picks that one. Why would you pick it? The problem, not your nose. Okay, so here's 10. Okay, do it. Okay. Okay, no, stop. Okay. Whenever you do these, I don't want you to get all psyched out. I want you to treat those just like you did before. Okay? Because if you think about this, this was this really came from something that looked like this, right? Right. But they cut it so it looked like a pyramid. So what we're going to do, I mean, understand where these formulas come from. We're going to treat it the same way then. And then we're going to think about what happened to it. Okay? So let's start by finding area of the base and then multiplying it by the height. Okay? So area of the base is a pentagon. I want to see what my pentagon looks like right here because it's easier for me to do the math that way. I can see that I've got some, you guys see this height here? See that? Okay, so that means that that would be this. And that is... How much? 8.3. See it? So I know that this is 8.3. And looking at this, it looks like the side length is 12. And I'm going to use that idea again from that other one. I'm going to convert this into a triangle like this. So then I can just go base times height divided by 2. So base is 12. Height is 8.3. I'm going to divide by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So what's 6 times 8.3? 49.8 meters squared. But that's only how many triangles? One. How many of them are there? Five. five. So multiply by 5. It should be like? 249. Yeah. Awesome. So 249 meters squared, that is the entire base. So 249 meters squared. I need to multiply by the height. What's the height here? The height of the whole pyramid thing? It's 11, do you see it? Which is actually 11 meters. So 249 times 11, 2,000 something. <laughs> 2,500 minus 249, so 22. Thanks. Okay. Meters squared times meters is meters that cubed. Is that, that was that, that's the whole. But that's the whole thing. If it was a whole right geometric solid, right? But it's not. What do you mean? I'm saying that this is the volume if it looked like that. You understand that? Because mm -hmm. that's all I did, right? Area the base times the height. Now, do you guys remember the axiom I showed you guys before we went on break? 
with the cone for the image that looked like this. Do you guys remember that axiom? Yes. I said to yeah, I said to you, you know what? Imagine if we look if we stood this up and it looked like this, right? That's the whole thing. But if I kind of did this to cut out the cone, I want one of how many pieces? One, two, three. So I want this part of it, so I only want one third of it, don't I? Well, that axiom works for all cone pyramid looking things. So if I go back to here, I don't want all of this. I want how much of it? One third. So I divide this by, that was cool. <laughs> So I'm going to divide it by 3, and then tell me what you get. Oh, sure. Bam! There it is. Is that the whole thing? That's this image. See it? Yeah. That's what we wanted. We wanted a third of it. So what I'm telling you is, when you see those cone-looking things or those pyramid-looking things, treat it like a right geometric solid. And at the end, you only take how much of it? One third of it. Go. You grown. Handle your business. Should be. Any questions on that? Simple, huh? She got him an ass. Yeah, one third of that number you got here. Yeah. So this was the volume. If it was like the whole thing with top and bottom the same, but because if you look at that from a side view, it's only one of the three pieces. So I only want one third, so I have to divide it by three. Technically, it's multiplying by a third, but what's one times that? Yeah. Sorry, I'm dying. So divided by three, boom, there's your answer. You're good to go. Taco Bell snack wrap. Again? Again! Wait, hold on. Okay, I can hold on. I keep looking <laughs> at her at her jug and I keep thinking there's syrup in there. <laughs> you know what, like pancake syrup? Because it's all dark and but the top is clear, so I'm like, what's in there? Well, it looks dark. I mean, you ever seen like syrup through the, the bottle? It looks like that, doesn't it? No. Sure, it's like it brownish. Well, it looks brown to me. That's but girls see more colors than guys. You be quiet. No one's talking to you. <laughs> I say it looks like syrup. <laughs> Maple syrup. Or maybe I'm just craving some pancakes. Oh, man. It's that homemade one. The one to make the yeah. yeah. stuff. Is it just that water? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just need some of those because I just want to stack real quick. I ain't trying to sit there trying to beat the eggs and have some milk and got some oil. I tired for all that. But see, the thing is, to get the best ones, you got to refrigerate it first. So you make your batter and then you throw it in the fridge for a while. It makes it thick. Yeah. And then when you pour it, so Your cakes stay nice and thick. Turn up the heat. <laughs> no, that only grab And a pound of butter. <laughs> a pound of butter. That's how you cook. <laughs> Pretty hot and tempting fat. It's all right. If I'm dying, I'm dying happy. <laughs> and I ain't gonna be hungry either. <laughs> My chimichanga, no. You only live once. That's the motto. But you see that during Christmas break they were going, they were like passing around this whole thing. Where Silence. Like, you don't know Drake. Like, don't speak of Drake in my presence. Everyone was like, Yeah, right. I said three hours later, nothing for you. It's like okay, mom, calm down. Don't you know about it? <laughs> yeah, like, every day, uh -huh. every day, every day. Because we don't really play. Oh, no. 
<laughs> don't say oh that. Oh my gosh, Becky looking for butt. Gucci. My name's not Becky. Don't she <laughs> want a photo? You already know that. Uh. <laughs> Nine. Nine? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. It means we all German. I've been trying to convince valedictorian for years. You know how they do their speeches? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to convince them to just go up there and like recite a whole song. <laughs> Nobody would even just know. Like, right, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wonder how many people would know. Like, like, just go up there and just like, your speech is just a song, like your favorite song, and see how many people know it. It would just take a while for it to click in people's heads because they're like, I they're going to be like, that's somewhere. the dumbest speech I've ever heard. But after a while, like, <laughs> yeah, but you were rocking to it that summer. Okay. <laughs> Here we go! It is a cone. I'm going to treat it like if it was a cylinder. I want area of the base. I want the area of the base. I'm going to multiply it by the height. And I know I'm only going to need a third of it, yeah? Yep. Cool? So I can see the base is a circle. The diameter, though, be careful here, is 18. I want the radius, don't I? Yeah. So, so pi radius squared, that means my radius is 9. So I'm going to be scoring 9. That's 81 pi. So that's the area of the base. 81 pi is the area of the base. How tall is that bad boy? 18. And I'm going to divide it by 3. 3 goes into 18, doesn't it? Yep. 6 times? Yep. So what's 6 times 81? Math. Eight, six Math. Times yeah, 6 times 81. 486? So 486 pi kilometers cubed. Yeah. Someone verify that it's actually 1526.81? Multiply by 3.14. 1526.14. 1526. We're good? Yeah, it says 1526.04. Straight. We're good to go. Because it's pi r squared, isn't it? You're trying to find What's the radius of the circle? Yeah. Good job. Sean, stop. Why are you trying to make my Castlevanians look bad? Go see me. Are we good? Preguntas? Did I say that right? Preguntate? But like you're just basically breaking it down. I'm breaking it down. Like you're just taking like you're just taking shit that You good Skylar? Yeah. What was your middle name? Skylar. Skylar Lemon? That's how Skylar Page taught me to say it, with an accent. You gotta drop the R. You gotta be like, not Skylar, but Skylar. Never mind. Skylar. I do it all the time. Like, Skylar Page. Put a little emphasis on the middle name. Skylar Lord. No? Hello. All right, I'll just shut that. I wish you'd do that with me. You have to love that name, dude. You went through it took his sign off. Sean. Sean Alexander. Like, just like that. <laughs> okay, one more shape. So this one would be the same, right? You treat that like a triangle the prism, area the base times the height, but you only want a third of it. A third of it. Okay, cool. So let's do this. This uh, this. Yeah. For the sphere. You want a third of the sphere, don't you? No. Um. This one's actually really straightforward there, so don't be get tripped out by it, Brooke. Uh, the formula to find the area of a, of the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. Okay, because this is volume now. So, yeah, so that's volume for a sphere. It's four thirds pi r cubed. What's the radius of that bad boy? Five. So this is going to be four thirds 
pi 5 cubed. We'll start with 5 cubed. What's 5 cubed? About 25. So 4 thirds time 125 times pi. Can I move the order of them like that? Yeah, it's called the commutative property, right? Oh, JK. LOL, smiley face. Um, so 4 times 125 is 500. So I've got 500 pi divided by 3 yards cubed. We're good to go. You can if you want to, but then you're going to get a decimal times pi, and that just looks uglier, okay. in my opinion. But this is my opinion. Candice, you okay over there? You wait, you wait, you see? Right. Yay. Is that good right there? Awesome. That's it. The time the time of my life. Wait, why'd you leave it like that? Why because it's accurate. What are you dividing by? Five hundred divided by three would be a. a yeah. it wouldn't, when they're evenly, yeah. you get a decimal. I don't like that decimal. So like if they they might, but then they might also if they have if they went ahead and divided, they went also ahead and multiplied by pi and got you like five point three point six. Guys, just so you know, whenever you're multiplying fractions by whole numbers, this is what's really going on. The top part gets all multiplied. So this kind of just is really doing that. Okay, because remember, what do those whole numbers have as a denominator? One. one. So I really need to go with three times one times one? No. No, that's stupid. It wasn't me. I'm not a ventriloquist. You're looking at me like I said it. No, I didn't. I said it. Oh, I've seen that episode.